I caught my boss making giant lists of VPC IDs in an S3 bucket policy, like it was a phone book or something. So I showed him this trick that just dropped from AWS, and it completely changes how we do network restrictions for S3 buckets. The old way was using source VPC or source VPC E conditions. It worked, but it required that you list every single VPC ID or endpoint ID. Once you had dozens of AWS accounts or hundreds of VPCs, your policies turned into spaghetti chase. One missed ID could break access or worse, could open access to everyone. Now AWS gives us three new conditions to use. VPCE account, VPCE org paths, and VPC org ID, they still apply when traffic comes through a VPC endpoint. But instead of listing every endpoint of VPC, it matches on who owns the org ID, OU, or account. That means your org's S3 buckets or KMS keys can be locked down to your org's networks in one line instead of hundreds. Policies get smaller, easier to audit, and they can scale as your organization grows. This just became the new best practice. So I've dropped some example policies in the description. Copy one, swap in your org ID, and stop managing giant phone books of VPC IDs.